Okay, so the last type of uh, frequency that being discussed in uh, section 2.2 is the what so called cumulative frequency. And notice cumulative frequency is only for is only for class distribution. Okay. So now the idea is once again if you look back at data 1 here is the class frequency distributions here. And so now you can go ahead and you don't even have to construct for yourself a brand new table. But here we can extend, think in, in thinking instead that we extend to a, a more, another column here and we call it the cumulative, the cumulative frequency based on the, the extended column. And so the idea now is that um, if you're looking into the first class, now the the number of the frequency for that class is a 12, meaning there are 12 members in that class. And there isn't any other class below this class. So the cumulative frequency would be 12. The idea of the cumulative frequency is going to be the total of the frequency in that class together with all the frequencies, with all the, the frequencies below that class. So here, this is our first class anyway. So 12 is the class actual frequency and also the cumulative frequency. So now if you're looking over to the next class, this time the actual class itself has frequency 14, but now together with all the classes below it, the frequency would be a total of 14 plus 12, so that would make it 26. So now, and then when you're looking into the third class, the actual class itself has frequency 11, but now together, together with all the frequencies, with the, the frequencies of other classes below it, then it's gonna be, 26 cumulatively plus 11. So now cumulatively we have 37. And then in the next class down here, the actual class only contain one. And then together with what we have cumulatively so far, so now it's gonna be 38 because we add all the, the frequency of all the classes below it together with, with the current one, so I have 38. And then the next one here, once again add one more uh, that gives me 39, and here is give me a 39 again because this actual class has the zero frequency, and the last class here is going to be a f a 40. So now, if you notice, as a rule, this the the cum the final cumulative frequency, the cumulative frequency at the final class right here at the very last class always always equals the total. If you if you're if you're calculating your cumulative frequency correctly, then at your at the the cumulative frequency at your final at your very last class here should always be equals to the, the total. And that's how we, we draw the cumulative frequency table. And you don't even have to worry about, you know, uh, putting all this here, the cumulative frequency on the histogram because we only construct a cumulative frequency just for other purposes, but we don't need to visualize that.